Hello, and welcome to another episode of The Profit Builder. I'm Vicki Suter, your host, and I am super excited to have my guest, Kirsten Ferris, here today, who is the premier expert in this topic of selling and um, how to make it just a natural, easy process for you as a contractor. What I see so much is contractors spending a ton of time bidding projects that they don't get. Um, why, do, why do you think that that happens and what can people do differently? Um, like, yeah, first of all, right. why do you think that happens? Right. The reason why it happens is because uh, people are looking at sales as a, tr as a transactional thing. They're looking at it as I'm making a sale, then I'm going to go out and make another sale. Um, when what I'd like people to do is think about selling as it's it's collaborating with your buyer and coming up with a solution that works for both of you, one that you could fix and one that they need fixed. And um, there's a thing called the IKEA effect. It's really interesting. I just learned about um, that people really like it when they get involved in being part of their own solution. So the more you can involve them, the buyer, in with your project, the better off they're going to feel when it's all done. And they're going to feel like they had a part of it and they really like that. So, um, and I also think taking the attitude of um, how can I help? When you take that approach, it gets away from all of that kind of, this is about me doing something to you, selling to you. This is about me helping. How does somebody do that, right? So like there's this shifting our mindset from, yes. I'm not trying to, I'm not going into the conversation having to prove myself. I'm going into this conversation like a collaborative process to solve a problem. Right. And that, um, and, and I would, I know I'd venture to guess, even as I'm saying that, that there are people listening who go, well, I do do that, but I still don't get a lot of the work that I did. Right. right. Can you just like, can we do yeah. a little deeper dive into what is it that happens and how can people like, what are some specific strategies that somebody can employ to really enhance that um, no like and trust because that's really what you're talking about right is like exactly when, when you come to that conversation from a collaborative perspective as a solving a problem together it opens up the door to asking more questions which can help people have more clarity which builds more trust because they have more confidence but can you just talk more about that and how, how can people do that I think and it's such a subtle shift I mean it is so subtle and You'll know it when you're doing it right. That's what I can say. But here's the shift I ask people to make is, is what is the intent? In other words, when you're asking a question of someone, are you asking it because you need to get that information to qualify them? Are you asking because it's part of your, you know, the thing you need to fill out to do a bid? Or are you genuinely curious about what's going on here? Like what, how, what, what? What do they need? How can how can I really get inside their head and figure out what's the best thing for that person to do? And in that moment, it's like, it's not about you. It has nothing to do with you. You don't have a product. You don't have anything. You don't sell anything. You're just diagnosing an issue. When you're around people that really mean that and they're genuinely curious because they wanna help, not because they wanna sell, you as a prospect feel the difference. You know, I, I think most people do a really good job of talking about the future state. What do you want? What do you want it to be like? But that's the wrong place to start. What you need to start with is what's happening now. What's happening in their world today? So if someone says, I want to do a remodel, you don't ask them, what do you want? You ask them, why? Why is that? Why now? What's going on in your world that is making this unlivable right now? You've made some really important distinctions here, which is the distinction of approach it like it's a collaboration and that you're solving a problem together and be an inquiry as opposed to I'm trying to prove that I'm the right person for the job. Just be really curious, right? And so part of yes. what I'm talking about here and being super curious is the first step is asking a lot of questions about what's not working and really yeah. being willing to hang out there for a while. What is the second part in terms of that building rapport? And really what we're talking about is increasing your competitive advantage in a sales situation. We're not selling the thing itself. We're selling the impact. 
of what what that's going to deliver. There's a whole different, like different, another set of questions to ask in terms of what somebody's going to feel like in that space. Helps them again, give them more clarity so that they have more confidence in being able to make better decisions for themselves in that process, but it's also about building more trust. So can you just talk a little bit about like, how do you frame that, that part of the conversation? This is where your expertise comes in. And this is, this is where I think deals are won and lost. And this is where the trust comes in. Like if someone says, Oh, I want this. And, and you know, you're like, Oh God, no, no, you really don't. Um, because you know what they're asking for. They're not, you've seen it go bad a thousand times. Let's say like, you just know it's, it's not the right fit. Um, but you don't tell them that, but you ask them, so what, how do you see yourself using, using this? Walk me through your process of, um, and get them to understand on a day to day. Now that we've been through the day to day of how you're living in things now, how is it going to be when we do this? So let's say we wake up and we've done this work, right? So number one, how do you want to be feeling different? You know, okay, so that's where you've been. How do you want to be different? Let's let's talk about that. But then also, how's it? How do you want this to work for you? How do you envision yourself? using this. I think that what part of what you're talking about is that, and I'm just listening, is that if, if it was me and I was going to remodel my home, what a great question to ask, like, how will you be feeling? How will it be, you know, how will your life be different? How will you be operating and functioning in that space? Um, you've just given me a gift Mm -hmm. of being, and it's, it's not like, it's interesting. It's a little bit of a subtle difference there, right? It's not about um, what will it just look like? Right. Mm-hmm. Like, let me yeah. go through my, you know, my yep. sport or my right. <laughs> picture, exactly. of, like what I want it to look like, but it's like, what will it feel like? How will yeah. you be different? How will life be different for you? It starts yeah. to have me look from an external place to internalizing it. And when I start to internalize it, you just made me feel better. Right. Yeah. Um, so that um, thing of being willing to hang out in the discomfort and how does that really feel? And then letting me have the experience as a prospect of feeling what it will feel like that whole, that like all of that kind of that sort of subtle shift that you're talking about starts to build more trust and rapport, right? Right. That starts right. to have you as a contractor stand out. So just wrapping up this section, this section mm-hmm. about how do you, part of what we're talking about here is how do you approach, how do you have a right mindset about sales and approach it from a collaborative process and being about solving a, solving a problem with a customer as opposed to trying to sell them your services, like shifting that mindset for you. And then two distinctions I heard you say is one, be willing to hang out in the pain longer because it'll help them and you um, get more clarity and have more, build more trust in that you're listening well and that Mm. you're really curious about what needs to be different. Like how, how is it really affecting them? Super important. And then the second piece how do you want it to look? How do you want it to feel? How will it be? You be different. How will it be different for you? Being willing to ask those questions really helps somebody feel like you're helping them right. um, get what they want and feel better right. about right. what's possible, which is right. all, all of this stuff that we're talking about is all about building rapport and trust, right? Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. In our next session, we're going to be talking about how do you make sure that um, you're going after and marketing to projects that are really a right fit for you? How do you never end up on a project with the wrong customer that's work that you don't really enjoy doing with the people you don't enjoy doing it with? And so that's what we're going to talk about in part two. I have a, uh, a template called the sales process that is about helping you kind of create a process for how you manage sales from the time the phone rings until the job closes that will help augment what Kirsten has been sharing here. Kirsten, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. and look forward to seeing you in our next recording. Good. Great. Thanks.